Welcome to Sylvie's Technique Vlog. I'm about to give you a technique that will make you much more dynamic in the clinch. For my patrons, I'm going to be giving a larger explanation with more detail and a more complete idea about how this technique works and overall how this works for your fighting program. If you are not yet a patron, check out the link in the description. It's very easy to become one. If you are a patron, at the end of this video, head on over there for the more complete discussion. So as a clinch fighter and a knee fighter, my enemy is the referee who's coming to save my opponents. Something that Diesel Noy noticed in my fights was that when I fight in these stadia where they're protecting my opponents, they're breaking the clinch much faster than is good for me. This is not cheating, but this shapes the fight in a way that puts the onus on me that I have to change my style or I have to change my tempo and techniques in order to work against this shaping by the referee. So one of the things that you might find for yourself that I found for myself as a knee and clinch fighter is becoming a little bit stagnant in positions in the clinch. If you get the lock and you stay in that position for too long or you're not active enough or you kind of get stuck against the ropes or something like this, the ref will come and break you. So what Diesel Noise showed me was a way to disengage and then re-engage in the clinch so that one, the referee can't break you, two, your opponent has no idea what the hell is going on, and three, it keeps you very active. It's like you're letting go for a second, doing damage, and then grabbing right back in. It feels very hungry and aggressive. I really like it. So what Diesel Noy was showing me is a low kick from very close range. The first thing you need to know about this is that you are not taking a step back in order to create distance for this disengagement. It's not a create distance disengagement. If you need space for the low kick, if you're in the clinch and you're locked up, you can push your opponent back a little bit to do the low kick, or you can bring your hips back a little bit and throw the low kick from here. It is really, really important that you are not doing this and kicking and trying to come back in, you're losing ground that way. That's not the disengagement that we're talking about. For this technique, you want to stay really, really close. Think about it as the same as if you're clinching, you throw the elbow and then you lock back up. You throw the knee and you lock back up. We all know this concept. Here, you're creating just enough space to do the low kick and then lock back up. This keeps the ref from breaking you, you stay active, and you're hurting your opponent. So if you want to see the more complete discussion of this uh, continuity and disengagement re-engagement, head over to Patron. Link is in the description. If you're not yet a patron, link is in the description. It's very easy to become one.